What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to pile in a bunch of stuff regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4's tier progression system because we got some new insight on what actually happens once you reach the maximum amount of tiers. Plus I want to discuss some other things going on within Black Ops 4, so let's check it out. Now guys, this weekend is the start of double tier progression for the black market and it's gonna last until Monday, so that means you will earn double the XP to level up your tiers for each game of multiplayer and blackout. But the next week, Nuketown will be available free for everyone on November the 13th, which is a Tuesday. And this is free no matter if you have the Black Ops Pass or not, everyone will be able to have this map again for free. And Treyarch also released a quick little teaser over on Twitter, but we don't really get to see much of the map. However, we do know from about a month ago that Nuketown will be kind of snowed out. It's like a winter version theme of the map, which I'm super, super excited for. I don't think the map will have any different locations or anything like that. I think in terms of the layout, it's going to be exactly the same, except for maybe like a few lines of sight adjustments. But besides that, nothing really too, too major. Xbox players should be getting the map about a week later. And then also later this month, the Blackjack shop will be opened up. But we don't really have any other information besides that. But I do have a theory that it basically will be kind of like the Fortnite item shop. Like, this is going to be the place where everyone can purchase character skins, signature weapons, sprays, that kind of stuff. Just directly instead of leveling up the tiers or opening up reserve drops. And the currency used will more than likely be COD points. I don't think there's going to be a new currency added, which is what many, many fans have wanted. I think these items will be strictly available through the purchase of COD points. Also, there was a new game settings update, which I will link down below in the description. And some of the stuff I want to go over isn't anything too big. However, for Blackout, the Paladin did get a slight damage increase to reduce the headshots required to take out an enemy that has level 3 armor and uh, 200 health from the trauma kit. And the reason why they buffed the damage is because too many players were escaping from gun battles with like 2, 3, or 4 health. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I did not like to use the Paladin. Also, the concussion grenade got a slight adjustment where players can now change stances after being hit with one. However, they still are going to be stunned and disoriented. There are just new opportunities to get back into the fight. And then they also say with the removal of the 9 bang from Blackout, we've added a scaled down back white flash screen effect to the concussion grenade. And they will monitor the performance of these balances closely. So with the 9 bang, we may have somewhat of a similar effect. If you guys didn't know, the 9 bang was removed from the game, but I assume it's going to be coming back maybe next week in Tuesday's game settings update. So uh, make sure to check back on Tuesday to see what happens with that. And yeah, honestly though, the 9 bang to me was a pretty big annoying equipment to use. But I think one way to kind of counteract that was to just increase the rarity of it. Like make it harder to find out there in the game. So, um, I mean, I'm totally fine with the effect possibly being adjusted. But I also would not have minded a rarity adjustment. Either or is totally okay with me. Um, but yeah, so hopefully they do look into the 9 bang a bit more. Honestly though... I have been having a better time without the 9 bang in the game, so um, I, I would not have cared at all if they just completely removed it from Blackout, but either or, like I said, it is just totally okay with me. So that's what happened with the game for this weekend, and again, we do have double tier progression starting today, and it's going to end on Monday. So now that's out of the way, this has been something that's been nagging me all day yesterday and I really did not want to talk about it, but I think everyone should be made clear of this and you guys should know just how shady I guess the Operation First Strike event is. So if you think that in reserves you're going to be getting a bunch of these signature weapons and other variants, well you are sadly mistaken because for this event there is only one and I mean one uno signature weapon available in reserves and that weapon is called the Kilcano for the sg12 so if you already have this weapon consider yourself very lucky because that's the only signature weapon in reserves and there are people out there like youtuber mac mcmar 
who bought the maximum amount of tiers possible for Black Ops 4, which is 900 and freaking 36. Prayers goes out to you, man, because he had to buy all of these tiers, which equate to $1,000, which is just, it's just absolutely crazy. Now, there may not be people who will always spend that much money, of course, but there are people who do buy tier levels and think they're going to be getting signature weapons from the reserves, but sadly, there's only one available. So, once you get to that max tier level, you do get a message on your screen that says you've earned every reserve item and literally nothing else. Like, I think for something of this big of an accomplishment, you should at least get some sort of a sick looking signature weapon or Mastercraft weapon that can only be obtained once you max out tiers, at least something like that. So this is very unfortunate though. Um, like there should be some kind of an indicator or message that tells you what items you can get out of reserves or even just something specific that tells players how many different types of items are available like maybe there's um, I guess a total of 10 signature weapons 25 sprays you know something like that but now just don't think I'm complaining about free stuff because I definitely do not want you to assume that I love the tier system I prefer this over the supply drop system any day of the week however I think the progression X P could be increased because it's really slow I think most people are gonna agree on that but really I just want clarity with the items I guess at, at least in supply jobs we knew what new weapons variants were gonna be added overwatch has a really good system where you can see every item emote spray etc available but I don't know man I guess what I'm asking for is clarity which I mean we may never ever get with a loot pool style system and a reasonable amount of time to unlock everything that's what I'd love to see with the tier system now I don't think there will only be one signature weapon available in every event but for this one just if you thought you you were gonna be getting another signature weapon after unlocking the Kilcano sadly there just isn't anymore but let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later